Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Thrifty Living. I'm Cass, and we're here as always. Hello, everybody. And if you're new to our channel, which a lot, I'm getting a lot of newbies here. If you're new to our channel, if you stick around, hit that subscribe button, click out, check out all of our playlists, click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. You know, notification on us off, do the whole, you know, everything. Hope everyone out there is doing well. Thank you so much for clicking in, checking us out, tuning us in. And today, I'm finally doing my skincare update final thoughts of the then i met you calming tide gel cream now i did a first impressions and i did two subsequent videos about my skincare routine this was featured in my new and wonderful skincare routine and then my skincare routine fail video so this product i have some information written down right here so if i'm looking down it's right here a quick refresher is that this product is uh 42 dollars 1.69 fluid ounces um it's available on the site but on the site the then i met you site it's currently sold out so you know it's alcohol free free of synthetic fragrances it does contain uh essential oils and it is cruelty free and vegan so this is what the packaging looks like. This is my first big gripe with the packaging is you can't see how much product you have left. So you're constantly like, you know, trying to... Yeah, just when you think you got nothing left, more There's a little more out. left. So my first complaint is that the packaging sucks. I know it was... Did you just fall down? Yes, I did. My so I know down. that this was supposed to be... Like a, ooh, it's so cool to put on your vanity. But in reality, it's a it's horrible packaging because you can't see how much you have left. Mm -hmm. So you're just left with, okay, is this the last time I'm going to be using it? Is this the last time I'm going to be using it? Um, the next thing is the fragrance. The fragrance is actually quite nice. It has like a bergamot, herbal, nice scent. It didn't mess with my skin that much because I did use this in conjunction function with um, the BFF toner, the peach slices, acne exfoliating toner, and the Cetaphil moisturizer, acne mattifying moisturizer. So I don't know if this did anything for my skin because if you saw those skincare routine videos, I had to stop using all those products to try and heal the skin. You know, heal skin, heal. And I still ended up with scaly patches, even after discontinuing use of all those other products. I still got these red, um, painful, scaly blisters right here, which I'm actually still get. I still have a little bit of like a flakiness to it. Um. So yeah, I don't know. So this is the part that would definitely not repurchase. I mean, obviously it's forty two dollars and sold out everywhere apparently. And yeah, it's not a product that I would highly recommend um any more information more information is that the product was very thin okay <laughs> if you heard that that was my dad trying to get the have the cats come to him so anyway uh the product was very liquidy um depending on how much you pumped out a lot can come out and your hand will be coated in in this uh moisturizer and then so that was another big epic fail of it was that we couldn't control how much came out and depending on how much came out my skin would either be nice in the morning okay or greasy it was an either or especially if it was like tepid outside because lately in new jersey it's been reaching like 50 degrees at night tepid isn't that the way you would describe a cup of coffee or a, a, a hot a tea so yeah so, anything else? Let me see here. Nope, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Thin liquid. The product, very thin. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I got this from Ipsy Glambeck Plus, and I'm glad that I was able to try it out, but it is completely empty, and I am glad. It's like something you use to clean your ears with. It almost looks like something you would use, I feel like sunscreen or something. Or you or put your iPod, uh, your, um. Uh... The pods in it, it. It's such a weird design. I think that's the one weird thing about it. It's the design. It almost feels like something you go into the ear or something. This actually does look like that thing, doesn't it? That one time we bought it for Auntie. That just exposed I was the my. I one that just suggested it. Oh yes, yes, yes. This, yes, I just exposed my aunt for having bad ears. Mm. <laughs> Beyond the point. Oh, the pool. That's uh, all right. Let's not digress. Anyway, that is going to be it. So overall. Bad packaging, 
it was a decent product, but like I said, I don't know if it caused any more issues. Would not recommend it, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will be doing a new skincare routine. That should be coming up very, very soon, along with, I think, one more product review, and then you'll probably see the skincare routine. And then, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's it, man. That's it. That, that's them, it. Thems are the thems. That's it. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We will see you guys in the next video. So sorry if I was rambling, but it is what it is. The ones that tune in and constantly see you know you are a rambler. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye.